I will refresh you. Jesus set an outstanding example in putting the interests of others ahead of his own. We are trying our best to follow his footsteps. Those who imitate him will reap benefits. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are toiling and loaded down, and I will refresh you. Matthew 11, verse 28. Jesus was kind. He showed kindness by being gentle and yielding, even under difficult circumstances. For instance, when a Phoenician woman begged him to heal her child, he declined her request at first. But when she showed great faith, he kindly healed her child. Although he was kind, Jesus was not overly sentimental. Sometimes he showed kindness by being firm with those he loved. For instance, when Peter tried to discourage Jesus from doing Jehovah's will, Jesus rebuked him in front of the other disciples. He did this not to humiliate Peter, but to train him and to warn the other disciples not to be presumptuous. No doubt Peter felt some embarrassment but he benefited from the discipline. To be genuinely kind to those you love, at times you may have to speak frankly to them. When you do so, imitate Jesus by basing your counsel on principles found in God's Word. Let's know a bit the story of Jesus with the Phoenician woman. A woman of Greek descent who was born in this area finds Jesus and begins begging, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is cruelly demon-possessed. Matthew 15.22 Apparently to test her faith, Jesus alludes to the Jews' negative view of people of other nationalities. It is not right to take the bread of the children and throw it to the little dogs. Matthew 15.26 Rather than taking offense, the woman picks up on the reference to Jewish prejudices and humbly observes, Yes, Lord, but really the little dogs do eat of the crumbs falling from the table of their masters. Jesus recognizes her good heart condition and says, O woman, great is your faith. Let it happen to you as you wish. Matthew 15, 27 and 28.